Have you ever tried to sync audio and it starts out in sync and over time it slowly drifts out of sync? Well, it's a more common problem than you might think, but it's actually really easy to fix. But first, you need to understand why it happens so you can prevent it from happening again. And by understanding why it happens, when I show you how to fix the audio sync drift, it'll make complete sense. Audio sync drift is common in multicam edits, especially talking head and interview videos, but also with music videos and concert videos. And that brings me to the first of two reasons why you might experience audio sync drift, which is different audio sample rates. Audio is usually recorded in either 44.1 kilohertz, which is the standard for music, or 48 kilohertz, which is the standard for audio and videos. I'm not going to get too technical in this video. What's important here is that the sample rates match. So if you record your audio into some kind of audio recorder, you need to make sure that the sample rate is set to 48 kilohertz and not 44.1 kilohertz. If you receive a music track to sync your footage to, make sure you ask for a 48 kilohertz version or convert it from 44.1 kilohertz or use the method I'm about to show you to fix the audio sync drift yourself. Another reason for audio sync drift might be different frame rates. If your main camera angle is set to 24 frames per second and the second camera, maybe an iPhone or a GoPro, is set at 30 frames per second, then you might also experience audio sync drift over a long period of time. The longer the video is, the more noticeable the sync drift is. You might not notice the audio drifting out of sync on a three minute video as much as you would on a 30 minute video. So make sure that the frame rates on all of your cameras are the same. Now that you know what causes audio sync drift, how do you fix it? I'm using Final Cut, but the process is the same in any NLE. So I've got my video track here and my audio track, and you'll notice that my audio is really low here. I generally record my audio at a low volume, so I'm going to just drop the gain effect onto the clip here, and under parameters, I'm going to boost this all the way up, and I'll boost this volume all the way up, just so that I can see my audio waveforms a little better. If I zoom in all the way here to the beginning, you'll see how this audio is in sync right at the beginning. And if I hit the down arrow key to go to the end, you'll notice how the audio has drifted out of sync over here at the end. So the first thing we need to do is mark an in point and an out point to sync those two points on both clips. So I'll hit the up arrow to go to the beginning. Let's find the first word that is spoken here. This is a clear peak. So I'll put a marker on the video clip with a shortcut M and I'll do the same over there. I'll hit my down arrow to move to the end of the clip and I'll look for a peak here towards the end. I can see that this section of audio here is actually supposed to be synced to this section over here. So what I'll do is I'll select the video clip at the beginning of the sentence and I'll hit M to create another marker and I'll go to that same point on the audio clip and I'll hit M to create another marker. I'll hit Shift Z to zoom out to my whole timeline and if I enable the audio on both of these clips, just to play it back, you'll hear how it's out of sync. It starts off in sync over here. Welcome to my Final Cut Pro color grade. And it's out of sync over here. But relying on my eye while I'm using the scope. Next, I'll hit Command R to open up the Retime Editor on the audio. And I'm going to zoom in here to the end. And the goal is to try and match these markers as closely as possible. So I'll grab this end and I'll pull this out. That looks about right. Let's zoom in here. Okay, I need to move this marker back just a little bit. And you'll see that these markers now line up. I'll hit Shift Z again because I want to see the beginning and make sure that the beginning still aligns. I'll hit Z and just zoom into that tiny little selection. And those markers look like they line up. Now if I play that back, you'll hear the sync is much better. Also help you to achieve the best and most realistic skin tones in your footage. Now obviously, if you have more video clips in your timeline or more audio clips, you'll have to repeat this process for each one of those clips. Now that you've fixed your audio sync drift issue, it's time to get editing. And while you're at it, why not level up your skills with these 10 quick Final Cut Pro tips you'll wish you knew sooner.